Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Hey everyone, there has been a pretty big upgrade to Design Space, and today I will walk you through the new features to show you what they are and how to use them. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and project ideas on all things Cricut. For this video, I'm going to focus on the buttons that have changed or are new. Everything on the left panel is the same, but there have been a few changes to the tools on the right panel. On the top, the buttons have been given a new look. Where group and ungroup used to be, there is this new button. Cricut has merged group and ungroup into the same button. Both functions still work the same as they used to. The next button is new to this panel. It is duplicate so you can easily make as many copies of a shape or layer as you need. The last new button at the top here is Delete. The top panel is pretty simple and familiar. The bottom panel is where there are some new tools. The tools that are the same are Slice, Flatten, and Contour. They are right where they used to be and have not changed. Attach is still here as well, but now you can click on the same button to both attach and detach if you need to change something. Now let's get into the new buttons that have changed or moved. You probably noticed that Weld is not here. It is still in Design Space. It is just moved into this new section called Combine. In order for this button to work, you need to select at least two shapes or layers. When you click on Combine, there are five tools in this menu. Weld is at the top, and you'll notice that it's the only one above this little line. That's pretty handy to keep it straight when you're learning all the tools because it's the only one of these tools that is not reversible. For my snowman example, I want my machine to cut out a snowman in one piece, not in three sections. To do this, I can use Weld and it will be ready to go. Now I'll show you the first new button, Unite. I'll highlight all three circles again then click on Combine and click Unite. At first glance, Unite and Weld look exactly the same. The shapes have been merged into one and there is one cut line around the outside. But let's say that I don't love it and I wanna change the sizing of the head and the bottom circle a bit. I can't make any changes after I have welded something. This is where Unite comes in. Over on the side here, under Unite, you can see that my three individual circle layers are still here. The difference with Unite is that I can still click on each one and edit it even after I have united it. I'll just click on this bottom circle in the layer panel and voila, I can resize the circle and then it goes right back to a complete shape with one cut line. It isn't quite centered, so I can click on the shape again in the layers panel and then I can move it. The other neat thing about this tool is that unlike Weld, it is reversible. So at any point, you can just undo it and all the layers will be individual again. I honestly don't think I'll be using Weld again after this update and I will be using Unite a lot. Next, I'll show you the Slice tool and how it compares to the new Subtract tool. In my snowman example, I want to make some buttons. Let's use the Slice tool first. The slice tool only works with exactly two layers. If I have three buttons selected, the slice tool won't even show up because I have too many layers selected. In order to use it, I need to select the three buttons, then weld them together so they're just one layer instead of three. Now I can select the button layer and the snowman layer, then press slice. This will cut out the buttons, but they are still in the way. I'll have to pull out the button layers and I'll put them on the side here to show you. If I only want the snowman, I'd still have to delete both of these extra button layers. Because I just sliced the snowman, this layer has moved to the top, so I'll just grab it and bring it back down to the bottom so we can still see the face. Now I'll show you Subtract, which is similar but not exactly the same. I can select the three buttons and the snowman. Then click on Combine and Subtract. Just like that, I have the same result, 
but it is way faster and far more user-friendly. The other benefit to this button, Overslice, is that, like Unite, this is also reversible and I can edit each layer anytime if I need to. There are two more new tools, which are Intersect and Exclude. They're both kind of like Slice and Subtract in that they both cut out sections. Intersect can be used when you select two layers and it will only keep the sections that intersect or are on top of each other. The most useful way I have found to use this tool is if you want a pattern to be cut out in a specific shape. I have a heart and a scribble to use today. I'll just highlight these layers, click on Combine, then Intersect. Now I'm just left with the areas that crossed over each other. Next is Exclude, which is the opposite of Intersect. When you have two layers, the areas that intersect or are on top of each other will be removed. I'll highlight both of these layers, click on Combine, then Exclude. The area in the middle where love and the heart were are gone. Just like the other new tools, both the Intersect and Exclude tool can be edited and changed. If what you're making needs some adjustments, you can click on a specific layer on the side panel and then move it around how you like it. I can change the size. I can move it. Or turn it to get it just right. The same goes for intersect. I can change either layer size Turn it, or edit it. Well, there you go. Now you have seen what each new tool can do. Let's do a quick recap so it's clear in your mind. Unite puts multiple layers together like Weld, but you can edit any layer anytime. Subtract remove sections that you don't want, like Slice, but again, you can easily change it if it's not quite right. Intersect keeps the areas that overlap when two shapes are on top of each other, and Exclude removes the areas that overlap when two shapes are on top of each other. Well, I hope this video helped and that you're confident in trying out these new tools for yourself. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and project ideas on all things Cricut.